men that do bad always got women. Men with bad habits always got women. That smoke and drink always got they always got a female with them. Thugs always got females. Players always got females. Scammers always got females. That ride, that sell drugs. You know who don't got females? The good Men guy. that go to school and get a degree. I don't know why. For some reason, when you go to school and you get good grades as a man, women do not find that attractive. I have no idea why. You got a 4.0, coochie drive. I feel as though it depends on who you surround yourself with and the type of females you surround yourself with. But I can say that when I was in school, I ain't really start getting girls like that until I started getting in trouble. I was the ugly bum ass until I almost got arrested. Mm. When I got older, I feel as though because I was from New York, from New York had a certain persona. It was a bad boy persona a little bit. So not, not Diddy, no Diddy. Not that type of bad boy. The females gravitated to that, you know? They gravitated to my stories about growing up in Brooklyn. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? So my name is Jairus Williams. Jairus? Jairus Williams. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 26. 26, and what do you do? So I'm a Marine vet, and I'm a Christian recording artist. I sing. Nice. Thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I love the water. I'm a water baby, so okay. uh, you know I was. Um, I'm the only home birth out of uh, all eight children. Wow. So um, I love the water because I was born in the water. So okay. That's I'm a little fishy, you know. <laughs> I'm a little, you know what I mean. Okay. So. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, yo, whoever popped the balloon is childish. Whoever popped that balloon is childish, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little fishy. It ain't come out right. She gotta be God-fearing for sure. Um, and she gotta be kind. Mm -hmm. She gotta be gentle. She gotta be loving. Mm -hmm. And uh, she also gotta support her man okay. in everything that he do, just like I'm gonna support you in everything that you do. Okay. Got it. Now, what are some okay. of your deal breakers? Um, somebody who's not willing um, to listen, willing to learn. Um, willing to grow in their relationship with God. I understand that some people may not know who God is or never have an experience with God. But if you're willing, like God expects us to be, I can rock with that. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. so we, we did get a, a pop balloon. That's all right. Let's head on over there and see why she ended up popping. Hello. If we can start off with your name and age. My name is Jasmine. I'm 24. Okay. And Jasmine, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I think you're very handsome, sure. you know, but it's just not really my... Hold on, bro. Shorty that popped right next to the girl that's answering right now, I know they sisters. She only popped because her sister popped. Okay. But you're very handsome. Okay. And I love the words you spoke, so yeah. Okay. Okay. And so what makes him not really your type? Um, I... <laughs> well, I think he's really handsome. I just think that, Thank you know... You. Yeah, of course. Um, and he spoke beautiful words, and I love that, you know, but it's just not really right. Well, um, I think maybe the girl. Maybe no, the girl. now you just... Oh, I'm from Texas, so that's, what, that's how we get down. So. Uh, it's nice, though. <laughs> oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I uh, she's someone that's... Your she did not have a good reason to pop. Uh, uh, she could not find a good reason to pop. She's The grill? Really? You're tight. Um, she's very beautiful. Um... I don't really do a whole lot of approaching, okay. so um, not that I'm against it or anything like that, but she's definitely so, like, very, very beautiful, so okay. absolutely. Right. Thank you. Let's go to our next lady. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Um, my name is Alexis. I'm 24, Hello. and um, I popped my balloon because, like my sister said, <laughs> you're very handsome. You're, you know, very well put together. Thank you for your service, by the way. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh -huh. Um... It's just not, like, you're not bad looking. I'm just not, like, attractive. Okay. That's fine. I actually like the girls here, but... Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So, I know you say you don't do a lot of approaching, yeah. and they are sisters, so you said you... Like, oh, yeah. We definitely don't do that. I'm a man of God, so... Yeah. Oh, no, no. I didn't say you approached them both. Oh. I'm saying, like, they're twins. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, I know you said she was, you know, she's ridiculed, all that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. So she's someone that's your type as well. Uh, yes. Okay. Just wasn't approach. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age. Alaya, and I'm 25. All right, and Hello. Alaya, why'd you end up popping your balloon? It's the water thing. I have a fear of the water. I can't swim to save my life, so that wouldn't be a good match for me. I can't swim either, so... <laughs> mm. 
Mm. <laughs> I'm being honest. But you love them. I can get down with that. That's a perfectly good reason to pop the balloon. Even though he probably could teach you how to swim. But I can't swim neither. My example of that is if I get on the show and a chick come out there and she says, Oh, I love to go skydiving. Pop! I ain't taking part in them type of Caucasian activities. No, white folks don't come for me. But, you know, y'all love to live on the edge. I'm good. I don't like to live on the edge like that. So, you know, I can understand that. Them other two heifers, no. I get the feeling that he might have been too much of a man for them. People do that too. Ooh, he might be too good for me. I got a life jacket. <laughs> so I got one for you too. Uh, I mean, well, I had one for you. <laughs> okay. It was bad. Prepared. Damn. Yeah, but it was the water thing. It was, I thought that was like a big thing for you. It was like in your lifestyle, and I didn't want to be, you know, intruding on that. So oh, I appreciate like, that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Okay. I mean, he said he can't swim. He got a life jacket for you. I don't know, but it seemed like he want to do a lot of water activities, and I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Niggas are still okay. popping. Right. So is she someone that's your type? Um, yes, yeah, she's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I still wouldn't approach. Okay. I'm very particular. Okay. Thank you. Let's go over here. Your name and age. I'm Asia. I'm 25. How you doing? And Asia, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, no particular reason. It's mm. just um. He's too good for like, me. Like, not really my type. He's too I good for me. You were saying about the Lord, though, for sure. For I'm sure. With that. Okay. Yeah. What kind of makes him not really your type? A little taller. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. We hear that sometimes. Exactly. You know, we can't change our height, so yeah. it's all good. Okay. You know. And how tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'10". 5'10"? Mm. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Okay. It's and, all right. And now she's someone that's your type? Um, She's very attractive. Uh, still would not approach because I'm very particular. I know what I'm looking for. Okay. All, right. All right. Thank you. So let's go on over here. Your name and age? Princess. I'm 23. Okay. And Princess, Hello. Princess, why did you end up hopping your balloon? Um, I would say at first it was the whole cowboy thing, but I was like, you know, that's not. But then the more I thought about it, I'm more so spiritual. I've been trying to figure out how I feel about religion. You know, mm -hmm. I grew up Christian and into that, but I've been figuring it out myself. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you probably want someone who's already finding their self with God type type deal. I can agree with that also. My family's very religious. Me, on the other hand, you would think I was a spawn of Satan. And that's not saying that I don't believe in a higher power. I believe in a higher power. I just can't wrap myself around religion like that. Too many rules, too many different beliefs. And that, that bothers me. And sometimes I do feel as though my family in particular, they really try to force that on you. So if I get that from my day-to-day -day growing up from my family of them forcing religion on me, I wouldn't want that in a partner if I was going out. That's why me and my wife are perfect for each other because we not. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Uh, not necessarily. Um, so I'm a Christian recording artist. I'm a Christian man. Um, but my, my debut album is called Coming Into Faith. So it's telling my testimony. Mm -hmm. I was still in the clubs. I was still drinking, smoking, partying. Um, I faced death and stuff like that multiple times. So, um, I don't, you know, judge people where they are. You know, uh, we can grow together if that was going to be a thing. You know what I mean? Um, I just wanted somebody who was willing, you know, mm, you don't have that. to be like on this high level, like right. super like pasta and this and that. Like, no, mm -hmm. absolutely not. Okay, I feel that. Mm -hmm. right, thank you. It's going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm 25. Hello. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet um, you too. You're really cute. I just thought a couple of your things. Oh, that's okay. Hold on, bro. I seen another clip with her, and she had different shoes on. Am I trip? She got sandals on now. I seen it. I ain't going to lie. The clip I seen, them toes, them toes look like they was. They couldn't breathe. Them toes couldn't breathe. Did you not think we was going to notice? Nah, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it was a different episode or something like that. But she had the same fucking dress on. Is this episode? She has some different shoes on. That's it. I mean, 
Yeah. It just appears nice. Oh, okay. I respect that. Okay. And now she's someone that's your type? Uh, she's very attractive. Um, I know I'm saying a lot of the same things, but uh, at the end of the day, I just still wouldn't approach um, not anything against you or anything. I, like I said, I know what I'm looking for, so. That's mm, But you are very beautiful. I want to let you know that. Thank you. For sure. All right, let's go over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 22. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, the reason... I just feel like more like close friends, you know? You're attractive. I like I like it all, but... For sure. My boy yeah, ain't looking I'm French. Kidding, like, we can have like a real good bond. Nope. You know? <laughs> Say no. On the same vibes? Uh, I appreciate the friend, um, how she said we can be close friends and things like that, but um, I'm not looking for friends right now. Um, uh, I'm looking for love, you know, somebody to marry and cherish um, and have kids with and stuff like that, so... Understandable. <laughs> Let's go out over here. Your name and age. I appreciate and that answer. So my name is Paris. I'm 28. Hello. Hi. So I popped my balloon because um, <laughs> I'm an ominous and I don't want it to get to a point where it's just like it becomes forceful in a situation. Like everything you list is cool. Like I'm like a person that um, I'm supportive of everything and everybody and whatever their journeys are. It's just that it's going to always be an issue like in the future like when are you going to you know come back and i kind of graduated from religion so yeah. I, can, I can respect that also okay. i can respect that but you is handsome as fuck though i ain't gonna lie okay go. i appreciate you <laughs> you're very beautiful uh, i just wanted to say um you know from the bottom of my heart um God has saved me from a lot of things. Like I said, I faced death uh, a lot of times, and um, he's the only one that brought me through. So I can sing. I have a gift to sing, and I'm very good at it. And so I gave it to the Lord, and he mm. gave it back to me. Mm. And he said, go reach my people. I'm going to give you the message to convey. Now go convey. And I'm going to be in a... Ladies, when y'all be out here saying y'all want a good man, you want a God-fearing man, you want a man who is assertive, who knows what he wants. This is a prime example that y'all don't know what the f*** y'all want. I'm going to be an obedient child and I'm going to do just that. Um, so nothing or no one can detour me from that. But I do appreciate your honesty and being up front with me. Absolutely. But um, that's just my calling and I don't force that on anybody. I just say it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's head back this way. Okay, so that is all the balloons popped, but we do thank you very much for coming on. Let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for them, ladies. Thank y'all, ladies. Thank you. That man was respectful, even in the presence of ridiculousness. There's only three people that pop their balloons and not going to agree with their reasoning. Shorty with the water, because, you know, if you can't swim and you're not into that, Ain't no point in, you know, forcing yourself to do, nah, I, I can't swim, I ain't into the water like that, and that's a major part of your life. I ain't gonna do that. I can agree with that. The whole religion thing, again, both shorties that said the whole religion thing, I can agree with that. Everybody else, I personally feel they popped because they knew deep down that that man was too much of a man for them. They didn't feel as though that they could, they could match that.